we are doing a YouTube episode. We call it What Went Wrong. And we're going to start it now. Um, our YouTube theory is going to be like, what went wrong? What is what went wrong? That is when you guys post some clips on Discord where I analyze your clip and talk about what you could have done different. We are so far. Oh, uh, where are we? We watched. Where were we? I don't even know where we were, to be honest. But yeah, we watched all these. We didn't watch this one, I think. So, yeah. So, where I tell you guys what you could have done different, it doesn't mean it's the right way, but it's just my analyze on your clip. Um, Again, Pesci, Tyler, Spooky, Bartlett, thank guys for the follows. Welcome to the stream. So, let's start. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Yeah. Oh, I mean, <clears throat> many factors, bro. Many factors here. I could have told, like, I already right here, bro. I can already start telling you what went wrong here. First of all, bro. Yes, you do, Nate. Perfect. But never go and loot when you know there's enemy nearby. This is the first factor. You don't go for the loot. You you basically just like there's a fight going on. You can't like look for the giving tree. You can't look for the backpack. Like you're basically wasting your time right here. All this like all this time you're wasting on this right here, you could have used it on like reposition, uh get a better angle on the enemy. Like since you're nading here, that means the enemy like this is out of context, so we don't know the whole fight. But I guess like you heard him here. Then you would have had the time to rotate towards the bridge, maybe. All the way over. Maybe take him off guard. Like, all this is waste of time. All this you do here, looking for the uh, giving tree and shit. And another thing. You have, you have time to use your golden star. Then you also have the time to drop your backpack. Right now, you're heavy. Look, you're heavy. <clears throat> drop your backpack less like so you don't wait that much so you can move a lot faster and also your gun doesn't sway a lot while being that heavy drop backpack fast as possible if you're in a firefight number one rule drop it fast as possible another thing that i've seen here look this is too risky you don't even look to the side you don't even look to the left all this if there was a guy right here, you would have been dead. And now you don't look to the right side. And going here. This is suicide. Don't do this. This is straight up suicide. You rather want... When you go here, you see there is no one. You go down here. And then you're playing it from here. And clearing all this and the other side. By taking this heal. As cover. You don't have any cover here, bro. All, all, all this? This is not cover, bro. This is basically suicide. You're going out to an open space. Look. Open, open space. 
There is nothing you can stand behind when you're in a fight. You were, he was a little bit lucky. I mean, I don't know if that was luck, but he killed the first guy, which was pretty nice. It was a nice flick and it was a nice shot. Like, nice save. That was really nice. Well done. But now, now you fucked. His teammate is shooting you. You basically have no cover. Again, no cover. Always think ahead. If I take a firefight, do I have cover, hard cover that I can rely on? Can I rotate from here? What what opportunities do I have? Here, no opportunities, then rushing straight ahead. You basically, like, this is pure suicide. And this could be panic. It could be. But you have to think about it. You never want to take a fight in an open space. This guy, has sp like, he has a lot of space to work with. He has cover. He has, like, he basically has everything upper hand like this is this is dangerous like you, you don't have anything here nothing at all unless you go yolo and run towards the red containers here look okay that was really unfortunate he went inside the bush there's like after those shots, instead of going forward, I would have run towards the left. Like, Nate, reposition. Don't lay down. Like, this is a waste of time. All this, this is a waste of time. You have time. At this moment that he then you he Instead of prone in this situation, I would have run to the left. So, um, all in all, yeah, that'll be my opinion about it. Next one, what do we have here? A nice shot. Oh, dude. I mean, that look kind of looked like a desync. It looked a little bit of a desync, but what I would have done in this situation, honestly. Do you guys remember what I did in this situation the other day? Do you guys remember what I did? It was oh, yeah, 556, five, yeah, but do you guys remember what I did here? I. The other day, I was taking a fight with a guy in the same position. What I did, I went in, stepped once. I stepped once on the wood and then walked back again. I faked the wood sound. So basically, I went in, stepped once on the wood and then went back again and killed him. And also, that gave me the upper hand. This situation right here, he's peeking with the left shoulder. It was left versus left anyway, but he didn't have the upper, like, upper hand. This guy had the upper hand here in that situation. So what he could have done, ran past, get the information, like run past, look to the right, get the information. He is crouch, holding, heart peeking a corner. Go in, step once, make him stand up and move away from your position and push. That would make it. Right shoulder versus left shoulder. He would have had the upper hand. Because if he went in, stepped once, and came from this angle, it would have been right shoulder. And when this guy was coming back to his old position, this guy, Alpha, would have had the upper hand. Or maybe even shut the door. Like, he could have also just sprayed through the door. He could have stayed right here and just sprayed right here. What's up, Mark? How are you doing? Akruchi, Steven, thank guys for following us. Like, you know where he is. Just spray it. Like, instead of back and forward. It was really unfortunate. It was really unfortunate. Otherwise, nice play. Oh my god, there's a fucking 4 2 5 Oh, this is a rough situation. Yeah. I mean, bro, in this situation... There was a full team of five. Like, this is, like, all in all, dude, this is a rough situation. Like, against a big squad. Oh, dude, this is really rough. 
Like, first of all, if you're in a fight, always make sure. As I can see, he's a streamer and he has a face shield on. Or does he have a face shield on? Hold up. I don't know if he has. But use always be pre-med. He's a solo player. That's why it's very important. If you're a solo player, you either have morphine or probital ready. Or you always pre-healed and ready. That's what I do. When I'm playing when I'm playing Tarkov, I always make sure I have pre-healed. So if something goes wrong, I'm always ready. So another thing, like here. There is nothing you can do. Like you don't have that much cover. Maybe if I was him in this situation, if I was him, fall back. And this like here, when you spray the first guy, right? Instead of running forward, in this situation right here, you just sprayed one guy. Go back. Go back to the hill. Wait. See what, like, try to have a little bit more um, awareness of the situation. Have a little bit more overview. And then you can start taking the fights. Even though he was using PRS, it doesn't matter. But rather have the situation like in front of you instead of going straight through towards it so it's all about the awareness what's going on in front of you so fall back stim up and go to the fight or even stay there where he was like where the hillside goes up stay on the hill take a look that was that's that would what i would have done i wouldn't go straight forward like this because again no cover they can just pick him off here and that's what they did. They split it up and they flanked him like that. So there's nothing you can do in this situation. It's really it's it's a really tough situation. Also against a big team. I'm doing good, Mutala. Alaikum salam. How are you doing? Cronus. Hello your fingers. Thank you for the eleven months, man. Good morning, it's me, your boy. How are you doing? If this doesn't work. Karon Sukixt, welcome to the G Club. I love her fingers. Thank you for the 11 months, man. Ali can sound the man. I don't. Welcome to the grind. Oh, that's too. Two ways you can push in. In like his situation, bro. First of all, he's way more geared than you. Like you have UMP. Um and he pre-fires the corner. Like, the enemy is doing everything right in this situation. Like, he's, he's swaying out. Like, he just pre-fired it. There's nothing you can do in this situation. What I would have done in this situation, if I was... If I had worse gear... If I didn't have, like... If I ha didn't have, a like, a meta gun and I had a UMP in this situation... And... And I heard that M4... Basically, he hears the M4 here. He hears the M4 here, right? You hear the M4. Fall back. Fall back over here. To your old position. No, don't run. No, 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 don't run. Have a better position. You don't have... You didn't have any cover at all here. Look. He got caught off guard and also using the flash like the flashlight a lot of people don't like the thing is it's very easy to kill people who's using flash a lot of people think oh bro i'm just gonna i'm just gonna blind the person but the thing is if you're the aggressor and someone is holding a flash you can actually calculate where the player is and that's why you just pre-fire the corner because you can see you can see where this like where the light is actually getting strong so you can actually like he fired the exactly exactly corner. That's why in this situation, maybe turn off the light and when he pushes out, you turn it on.
Just to, like, confuse him for a second, and then you kill him. That's what I would do. Um, so, yeah, overall, fall back. Get to the same position you were in before. Close down your light. I know it's dark as fuck. It's interchange. I know that. Close down the light. And then right when he comes out, turn on the flashlight. You know? Um, it's, it's, it's just... You, you're basically giving away your position by turning on the light. So it makes it more, like, readable as an enemy. Um, and, again, no cover. Look at it. If you out here, then you have to push it. You have to go, like, if you're out here with no cover, you have to be the aggressor. Or at least go towards the corner here. And while he sprints, you peek it as fast as possible. Don't be here in the middle of everything. And also with the flashlight on. Fall back. Get to, this, get to the old cover you had in here. And right peek the shoulder maybe. And just wait for him to peek it. After you heard he had a stronger gun than yours. That's what I would do. No need to be the one who's just holding a corner like that. Oh, that's an STM. You heard him. You heard him. Never go up. Never go up. Never go up. Nice reposition. Reposition. Nice. That's really nice. You should have taken the shot. Yeah, just. One thing that is very important on shoreline. On shoreline, you always want to be the guy who's below. Very important. First of all, STM. Tracers. It's hard to fight with. This is a semi-automatic gun. And also, it's a very small caliber. Like, the pistol, it's, it's basically pistol bullets. So, if you absolutely have to use this gun and those bullets, you have to shoot them in the legs. Or if they don't have face cover, shoot them in the face. No thorax shot. Has to go for the legs. Otherwise, it won't do shit. That's one thing. Second thing. If you do, if you were, the thing is with shoreline, if you go above, you will always give the information to the enemy. That's why you always go below. There is no such thing as vertical audio in resort. You can't hear below you unless you're prone. Vertical audio do not work. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. So try not to be the victim of the vertical audio. I'm not saying abuse it. I'm just saying have it in mind. Don't be the guy who's giving your information by going up. Be the guy who doesn't give any information and go down. Then you have the upper hand by those players who's above you who gives all the information to you. That's what I'm saying. One thing is here, in this situation, right here, I would have taken the shot. I know, I like, you would give it away your position, but you would have the chance to do a 1v1 situation instead of 2v1 right here where the enemy is pushing out of the room. I don't know where exactly it is, but at some point, the enemy rushes out. Now... Another thing that I want to point out, it's very important. When you're holding a corner, or when you walk, or like whenever, head level, all, always head level. 
Do not go for the Torex. No, 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 Ains. I'm not saying like abuse it, but I'm just saying don't be the victim for it. That's what I'm saying. Presser placement is the key. Do not aim for the dick unless you're going for ripped bullets. You gotta go for the headshots. Pre aim head level all the time. You can see the door frame. You know where the heads are coming out. It's like around here. Y'all see the difference? A little bit up with your scope, hold head level, and you're ready to head tap. Doesn't matter if he doesn't die, but you're ready to pre-shot it if you if you see if you see him coming out. And in this situation, you should have just gone for the shot. You should have just gone for the shot. Like, and the reason why I'm saying that is because he knew it was two guys. He would have made it one v one instead of. Like, letting him pass through and make it a 2v1. He had a clear chance right here to tap him out. Fortunately, they out-aim him and they killed him. That's really unfortunate. Let this one be the last one and then we can fall back to gaming. Ooh. Oh, that's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. I mean, in this situation, bro, I can point some movements, like flaws, but you can't really, like, that's just, sometimes talk will be like that. You know? I can, I can talk about his movement, like what he did wrong. For example, here. Like you have, you have the wooden box here. So first, you take the right corner by stepping one step out to see what's going on here. If you want to take it out, um, basically, if you take with like if you take the right corner first, you have cover here by this wooden thing. So you can actually step once, look to the right, go back again, and then you can crouch, do the quick peek to see, or as he did here, he ran cross. But he didn't look to the left or the right. Use your free look, guys. It's really important. Like this running across, it didn't help him in any way. It didn't it didn't help him in any way. Look. And then he peeks it with the left shoulder here. Look. That was a fall. Like, if that was against me, I would have like in this situation right here, if you peek if you peek me like that, you would have died. So it like, I'm not trying to bash on anyone. Please don't get me wrong, guys. I'm just, I'm just trying to, like, I'm just trying to point out some flaw, like, small adjustments you can do. If you're going to cross away, like, if you're going to cross a hallway, Welcome to the grind. use your free look. Like, in this situation right here, look left while you sprint. Instead of just, this didn't, this didn't give you any information. This didn't, it didn't do anything for you. Yeah. And like, and also this, don't, don't, like, this is very, this is a big flaw as well. This is not how you clear a room. You, like, you're basically in the middle of the door. Like, this is dangerous. If someone was right here, he would have been dead. And he's aiming at dick level. Yeah, he's aiming at the dick level. You, you want to have aim always on head level. So if you flick it, you flick it straight into the face, not to the dick. It's really important. So this is really dangerous. It took him like, did you guys see the small adjustment? It did like this. You rather want to sprint through, look free look or left side. The thing is, when you do the free look and sprinting through a door, if the enemy is holding a corner and if they're trigger happy, it will start shooting. Then you get the information. Hey, there's a guy inside that room. He just shot at me. Now I know. There's a guy inside. So the thing, instead of clearing a room like this. Ran past it. Ran, run past it. Use your free look. While you sprint. Not a lot of people will hit those shots. 
they would just they would just start shooting and then you have the information you and your friend has the information there's a guy inside here that's what you can do like for example when he is when he when he's here not like that run run past it run past it just sprint through it sprint free look sprint free look at this situation right here bro if he was sprinting right if he was sprinting here instead of walking he might have had a chance to be able to avoid this guy and his friend could have like dramatic oh, okay like because he's hard peeking a co like a corner and he's and he's not that fast uh not only do you have the info but the enemy has a few shots closer to having a drop the mag exactly look at this he, he basically have an enemy that is not that fast so he could have just sprint through and now he had the opportunity like he had the information okay there's a guy in the kitchen and also the other guy his friend would have been able to trade with him like that's that's just straight up unfortunate that's like that's unfortunate so that's what i would have done so that was it for this episode of what went wrong <laughs>